OK, we're off. That's just showing you the meter's going up. I think it's already just started staticking. At the moment, we've only just arrived at our location. This is Clifton This Grove. is the, as you can see, ghost meter. As you can see, we've already got a bit of a glitch with the pin. Right, that place over there used to be the old medical place. And a couple of times when I've been at night through the windows, you can actually see a white lady walking across in them buildings there. You can. This is a church. This is, let me just show people this. This is the gates to the cemetery. Let's give you a look at that. Okay. We're now going into the cemetery. This is a very, very old cemetery. And this is the church where the priest hung himself. And that it took over 60 years to put the tiles down on the floor because everybody used to get scared off. And it took many, many, many years. It's all parquet flooring. All the cool tiles. As you, as you walk around the cemetery, it looks peaceful and quiet. But this is huge, it's under a different scenario. Now, as you walk around to here, Alan, uh -huh. someone is here in the building here. If you should use it, this is where you see the white lady okay. walk along. Not all the time, sometimes you'll catch it in the eye, sometimes you And won't. that is what? That's a medical? It used to be a whole medical facility. Oh, okay. Like Some people used to say it was for people who had got uh, mental problems. People used to say it was a science building. People don't really know what it is, but I know it's got something to do with the hospitals. Uh, but I do not know what it is now. It's a very impressive building. Mm -hmm. And to say we've got something like that in the middle of Nottingham, and this is right off the meter. Wow. And that's what I said about the white lady. This is, we are actually, as you know, in the cemetery. Yeah. <laughs> we've got a little bit of a high reading just there. Yeah, we're off the meter. We're actually off the meter. This is in the cemetery, as you and can see. And that, because I've been talking about the white lady, in the in them windows and that that's crazy so you will know the sort of activity we're going to get at night time yeah. and i'm starting to feel the gb's already it's daylight if if this camera's shaking a little bit guys i'm sorry yeah. <laughs> it's how this place tends to get you i will try and hold it steady for you as we move away from the building it will start calming itself back down and it usually does that beeping you can hear and the slight white static is from there we go you see we passed the white lady now we've passed through the building that medical building and as you, and can if see, you could get into that building that would be off the meter all night long very pretty church but also very haunted as ray told you a priest hung himself there just to give you some indication of how old this cemetery is this particular stone it's dated 1857. And you're actually walking. And I'm actually walking on people's Great graves. Sorry. You can't really help it because literally these stone slabs uh, make up the pathway around this cemetery. And then just be careful because you want something and you don't want to fall over it. No, not really. And you have to be careful at night time. Yeah. As you know, we've done it many times, we've been doing it anyway. I mean, it's, it, it's, you know, the meter readings what we're getting already, and this is broad daylight. So you can only imagine when we come back and do this walk again. But at night, you can only imagine the readings we're going to be getting then. Oh, give you another mind. glimpse of the church. I'm sorry I'm shaking, guys. <laughs> I really am. It's just how this place gets you. It's a very impressive church. And just so you know, there's no need to tell me that you can hear music. So can I. <laughs> there is actually a, a stables at the side of us. So... Now you're where friends of mine have problems sometimes down here on yeah. the side of the building. 
And he's the uh, the leg got dragged behind then. Is that what? Oh! Nearly went. That's what I said. What's that little thing there? Hey, wouldn't look at portal windows. Oh, okay. Oh, look, so these... here we go. What says to you about? Here we go again. Well, it says about the bloke and his bad leg and everything. And people get violent tendencies at night time when they walk past here and the legs drag behind them. Uh-huh. As you can see, I'm facing you down to let every piece of the way around here so you know what we're going through at night time. Yep. At least in the daytime you can see what the... These graves are very, very, very old. Well, a lot of them they can't even read them quickly. They're that old, I mean, sorry for yeah, treading on you. That's the three graves. You can see how badly they're deteriorated. That's what I told you about the three graves. And we've just passed the, the three graves and we've gone back down to normal. I'm so sorry I'm shaking so much. Okay. Just another glimpse of the church. Where, as Ray told you, a priest actually hung himself in there. So, unfortunately, they don't allow you access to the church for many, many reasons. And when we do come down now, we'll be using this little device and that to be recording everything in the cemetery and everywhere we go. Yep. And this will be linked up and people can hear things on this little thing and as that well. That will be uploaded to uh, and that will be done at night YouTube, but we'll do that at night. At some point, we will actually stop and sit down. Now, we're going to the witch place now where the, where the sacrifice animals and everything like that. And this means we'll ring off again. It will. Really slippery in here. Get to the so you've got to be really careful. Okay, no problem. But the ground doesn't grow back normal because there's been that many fires up there. Yeah. That uh, it's just one end thing. Yeah. You what's broke? Oh, <laughs> you will find over time when we put more videos on. I am the clumsiest person in the world. I'm always slipping over, falling over, but feel free to laugh. Oh, no, no. Ray always does. <laughs> you do take when you do that <laughs> Yeah, true. Right, this is a bit now we have to be really. Very careful with Helen. Mm -hmm. Right, you know what? We're just just about to enter now. the gate and we have. We're going up towards the peak now. Gone off the meter again. Just give you some idea. So we're right, we're walking up the path now as we can. What we're walking into? Just for you. Aren't we kind? Right, just, just, Bit mad, know. but there we are. It's not too wet for you all quick. Being dripped on! Ow! Stinging that all, stinging that all. Oh my god, look at this, look at this. Just show them. Well, it's going back to normal again now. We're going to get these fluctuations with the ghost meter yeah. all the way through yeah, because there are get, spots. Going to get wet in here, that was. Yuck. We don't know we've used this chair sometimes. Ah! Oh, right. Yeah, as you can see. Okay. okay. Yeah. Oh, wet bum! This is good. Yeah, that's what's saying out. Get your hand. You have to come. We have to go up that way. We have to go that way. <sighs> if we can. Do you reckon we can? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pass me on. That's it. Would it not be over? You tell this hasn't been used for years. Now this oak lad, we get lots of night time too to you, Yeah. When we come at night obviously we'll Watch this, it's all shit now. Ouch. <clears throat> we'll bring lights. Because obviously can't navigate your way through here without lights. I think I might run in the way here. Ow! To the car park. We'll do it in the car park, Helen. Okay. Yeah. Are you alright? Yeah. 
I think so. Be really careful. We'll come through the car park because we've got a better path. Right. Yeah, right, we're, we're on the right path. Ray's only holding my hand, so if he slips, he takes me with him. <laughs> right, we'll do more quickly this way if we can. Now, when you consider this is daytime and how, I mean, yes, yeah, daytime, obviously, I've just said that. Yeah. Um, but as you can, you can see how overgrown everything is. That's because people don't really like coming up here because of the activity, she well, says. <laughs> it's off the meter. And as I say that, come on, focus, focus, focus. Sit, got it. Yeah, you're on. Okay. It's off the meter again. Oh, I've got to take that off. You're all right. Yeah. Woo. Now this place gets you a bit. As you can see, it's just all thick, dense woodland. It's still off the meat at the moment. That's what I say, just to recap. Um, the beeps and the white noise you hear, that's coming from the ghost meter. So don't worry, we can hear it too. I'm sorry if I'm breathing heavy. I hope that's not distorting things too much. Poo, horse pup. That's strong. What on earth is that? I don't know. I really haven't got the fog yet. <sighs> it's been there for years and years and years, but at one time that metal thing wasn't mm -hmm, on. Curious. <clears throat> you can see just how thick all this is. No. Nobody's gonna play for a lot of years. You should have worn boots, right? Yeah. That's why I put mine on. Yeah, just have a <laughs> like jungle book. As you can see, this crap hasn't been used here for a long time. No. Nope. And you can't see the spirit in that kind of thing. That's good. But one time, this is where they used to have the fires in everything. Yep. But as you can see, it's all overgrowing and uh, yep. there. Yep. Nobody's used it for years, but they did do when I was a kid. Yeah. They used to have fires in everything, and it's all been this area here. Yep. And you can uh, see just how thick and dense this everything is. It's called the Witch's Point. And over the years. What's the meter doing? It's being normal at the minute. But a lot of this is just down to... Let me see if we can walk in a bit further, see if it goes off. It probably will do in a second. Okay. So this is where it's going over a few years, this house. Yeah. It's when it gets wet, though, isn't it? Yeah. But this is a point, you see, where nobody's used it for years. Mm-hmm. It's there. Uh, to say nobody so comes... Oh, it goes. Whoa! Another off the meter. And this is the Reading. witch's point. I don't know if I can see that. That's yeah, better. Yeah. My camera keeps going really blurry, which is normal, as any other paranormal investigators will know. There we go. But like you say, it's over the top of the meter, but this is where they do all the animal sacrifices. Oh. It's, uh, as you can see, this is not easy, but... Yeah. See, this is a bit where we might not have to do it much because there's too much on the grave. I'm not. Well, even the cemetery is uh, well, pretty active. Even if you come through here and just get the response, just up to where there's tin boxes and just come see to here. See, your lights are going off as well now. Yeah. I don't know if you can see that <coughs> on the day, that guy's... I'm sorry, the camera keeps going blurry. <laughs> it's okay. You All paranormal camera. investigators know what that means. <laughs> It's all back to That's normal better. Now. Oh, and then as you can see, it very strangely drops. Whoever it is keeps putting their face in my camera, please move away. Because you're blurring it. Thank you. I don't know if you all know, I'm not telling you this because I think you don't or I think you're stupid because I know you guys aren't stupid. But if your camera goes blurry when you're doing any kind of investigation, it means that You've got a spirit that basically is coming right up into 
your camera. Basically face into your camera. And uh, that's what makes it go blurry. Some of the markings up on the trees to know where everything was. Some of the did sacrifice. What's through there? The this was back down to the old car, car pot when I was. Oh, finished. okay. Some of the stones that you were in capping your dad's back. Yes. Yes, I'll just tell you what that's about. Me and Ray's partner, Cap, we was up here one night because we thought it would be nice and stupid. And um, me and Catherine stood by the car. And Ray, being the kind of guy that he is, um, stood in the shadows throwing stones which were hitting the bushes behind us. And as you can imagine, it was pitch black. So he's standing in the shadows, can't be seen because he's all dressed in black. And me and Kathy stood there going, what was that? What was that? And we only realised what it was when Ray burst out laughing. And he got called a number of different names. I won't repeat it on here. Because otherwise YouTube will demonetise. You can see there's a nice big drop down there. Yeah. And this the is one of the reasons that you have to be so careful at night. Because you can see, I'm not going to go too close to the edge because it's a bit slippery because it's been raining all morning. And it's telling you to make sure you stay away from it as well and because of it. What's it called? But where you're actually standing now is where the edge is. Please get your face out of my camera. Fogging it. Oh, stop it. Don't worry about it. And this is right by the edge. Oh. Sometimes you have got the odd kind spirit up here. But this else? Um, but you can see the drop. Where you are? Where you are? Uh -huh. All the way across here. Yeah. Because this like, wasn't here many, many years ago. Yeah. This is where the Edris Horseman used to ride across. Yeah, so that will be interesting at night because what we can do is at night time, we can actually sit down in this particular part. As you can hear, again. it's gone back to normal again, now that we've been stopped. Oh, get your face out of my camera, please. Mm. The light's terrible. Um, but as you saw, when I went close to the edge, the meter went crazy. Um, there is a few kind spirits over here, so that was probably one of them just trying to stop me from falling. Because if you it's fall, very slipper. you're going to end up dead because I, it's very, very steep and there is a certain amount of tarmac down there which I wouldn't like to hit at any kind of speed. Yeah, this is what I'm thinking when there are good fires down there and everywhere we scorched. Yeah. See some of these trees down there still scorched. Look, that one's still scorched. Yes, you're right. Yeah. Just there, scorched, and as you can see. And there is to let them know that they're actually in the sacrificial place. It is. Uh-huh. That is from where people have done... Yeah, where they've killed animals and um, things like different that. sacrifices. They go to them and burn as you them. can see, some of the branches are scorched. Where they come out and cloak the trunk and like that. is all scorched, and it's all about you know sacrifices. And I've no idea where that smoke just came from because I haven't got a cigarette on and neither is Ray. Just had a yeah. and it, although it's a bit chilly, it's not cold enough to see your own breath. So I don't know where that smoke came from just then. But as you saw, you can always replay this and have a look for yourself. But I did just get a strange amount of uh, smoke just passing in front of the camera. Some very strange occurrences happen over here. Quite a lot. As I say, the density of these woods is unbelievable. And it's like this all around, as you can see. And where the witch is, where the witch place is, where they used to sacrifice animals, is that not uh -huh. As you can see, you can see the cemetery just across the... Right, yeah, and there's across. the cemetery we were just in, just over there. As you can see, there's the church. And that's, and that's how close it is. If I stood here and threw a stone right now, yeah. and this is probably somebody saying, yes, you're right, yeah. because the meter has just gone... Hey, where are again? Off the scoil again. As it is, it don't stay in the red, it just goes off the meter. As you can see, the lights are flashing, which is another indication. Thank you for moving your face out of my camera. It's kind of you. Well, at least now people can see what this bit's all about. And I can only 
all I can say about it is really, if you think this is creepy during the day, imagine what it's going to be like at night. Because I can tell you, yeah, that's kind of, yeah. Um, the spirits over here do try and communicate with you quite a lot. So it should be interesting, the nighttime vigil we're going to do. It's actually raining a little bit at the moment, so if you can hear what sounds like tapping, it's where the rain's hitting all the leaves on the floor. As you can see, it's quite a lot. Yeah, so I'm watching my feet. Because it's very muddy. Uh-huh. And this, this video basically was just to give you a bit of the history of the place that we're going to be coming back to at night. Um, this is basically part one of a two-part venture. We have been over here at night before. Unfortunately, I didn't have my phone to record. Ray didn't have his ghost box with him either. So, you know, although we experienced quite a lot at that time, there was nothing to prove what we were saying, unfortunately. Let me just show you. This is from the fence. And that's what we're walking through. And this is where we will be doing the nighttime vigil and I hope you guys appreciate this because I'm going to be cacking my pants <laughs> it's alright you laugh Ray always finds it quite funny when I panic but I'm getting better I don't tend to panic so much these days I've got to try not to film that over there sorry these people aren't always very happy no. about being caught on the film. What are you doing every quick moment before you go down there, or Not bothered? Yeah, I can do. I put mine in a plastic bag so What's they didn't get wet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Don't mind if I break my ankle, I just don't want my cigarettes to get wet. Right, we'll switch for a second. Yep. Right. I'm just going to pause this video for a second, guys, because I'm sure you don't need to see us smoking. Be back in a couple of minutes.